What is up, YouTube? This is a video right up for the challenge Modern Picasso from ICTF 2018. Unfortunately, the game just shut down and I can't actually go back to the challenges, um, so we're just going to kind of review it from the terminal in here. Hope that's okay. Uh, anyway, you're going to get a file to download, and it's this Picasso.gif image. So it's an animated picture, as you can see, and it's just a bunch of different frames kind of spazzing out and essentially at least probably, trying to spell something out, but in different frames. So our objective is to figure out what is this picture when it's put all together, and uh, does it display the flag? That's a good hunch. It probably does. So let's go ahead and try that. So our first methodology is to just go ahead and convert all the frames out of this GIF. And if you don't know how to do that, we could totally look it up. Um, I'm going to end up using Image Magic and Image Magic Convert. Um, like take frames out of GIF. The kind of rule of thumb for image magic and for convert being the command line utility for it is pretty awesome. It, it, you really just kind of know what you want to do. Um, you can essentially just Google that thing that you want to do and just try and track down the syntax for it. So uh, they just note here, you can run convert the GIF file name and then whatever you want to with like a percent sign, the number of decimals or digits that you particularly want all the files to have, so they're not like 1.png and then 100.png uh, and out of order when listed. So you can use the zero fill if you want there, and then whatever file type. So we can go ahead and convert Picasso.gif, and I'm going to bring this to two decimal places, .png. Once that's done, we can ls and, oh, I totally forgot the d in there. So I'm going to remove all the png files, clean that up. Okay, cool. And we'll do that again, just with a D following it. So now, decimal, great. We can EOG each of these frames if we particularly wanted to. Hold down the arrow key, blah, blah, blah. Now, we want to stack these on top of each other. However, the white is kind of in the way. We need to be able to tell the images that are we're stacking onto each other that we don't want the white to override or kind of be stack on top of what the other frame had because then we'd lose all the progress we were making. So the best way we could do that is go ahead and remove the transparency for these. Now, we could do that with GIMP if we particularly wanted to, fire it up, open up all these images, select all of them, but that sucks and I don't want to do that because yeah, manual stuff is necessary sometimes, but automation is divine, and that's what we should always aim for. So, again, we know what we want to do, convert all the white to transparency. So, again, for image magic, you could just go ahead and kind of Google that. Image magic, um, like, make color transparent, and then there's a good immediate Google result for replacing white with transparency. And you see some syntax here, convert image, transparent, white. Now, how do we do this for all of our PNG files? That's fine. Let's get all the PNG files, and then let's loop through them. So I'm going to do like a wow read file name here, and just piping so we get it all one at a time. And then we can do, just as we saw, convert file name with transparent white, and does that redirect it to a new file? It does. So we have to supply that as the, the last argument, and we'll just use the same file name variable that we were working with. Hit done. Once that's complete, now we've got all of the white removed, and we just have transparency in the background. Perfect. Now we can stack them on top of each other. Again, if you don't know how to do that, don't remember the syntax, because convert and image magic can do pretty much everything. Just go over, like, yeah, overlay images, or... or overlay images, stack on top of each other, blah, 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 how to add one image on top of each other, and you'll find, okay, that does, <laughs> that link doesn't exist, whatever. You'll find that normally you can just track down what it is you particularly want to do. Um, I do see composite works here and gravity center and all, um, so that's the syntax that I'm going to go for, and I'll just type it out because that's a bad explanation of just seeing it on the internet, but Convert and image magic is fine because you can just try things. <laughs> like, just poke around it and explore and learn. So I'm going to get the same loop going right here, except I'm kind of going to do something clever because we're going to loop through all of these 66 images, but we can only, like, put one on top of the other. We can only stack two at a time. So we have to keep one of these files as essentially the one that we're going to decide to stack on top of and let that carry through all the iterations of this loop. So let's do convert. Um, we will use the file name that we're actually looking at, but we'll put it on 00.png. And that 00.png will just go through and, and add all of these together. 
um, by the time our iteration is fully complete, because we'll use that as both the ingredients for stacking and the output result that we're saving it to. So we wanted gravity center, and we wanted composite, and we're going to end up saving this to as the result here, 00.png. We'll loop through all those, and once we're done, we can check out 00.png, and we've got our flag, ICTF, wow, fast. So if you wanted to, we could just go ahead and write that down. I can't type. Stay in school, kids. And now, since we've got all that done, we could simply create a get flag script with all of these lines. Just literally copy and paste these because we did the process and then we could move 00, zero or like copy 00 to a flag.png, save it, whatever you want them to, and then mark that challenge as complete. So cool. Kind of neat, kind of simple. Not really that simple because you may get bewildered and not want to deal with the automated or not want to deal with the manual color selection and override and all that. Just know that you've got some tools that can do what you want. And if you don't know the exact syntax, that's perfectly fine. Google for what you want to do and you'll be able to tinker with it and explore with it. And that's really what Capture the Flag and learning is all about. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. $1 or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube. So, since now I'm going to be running through some ICTF video write-ups, hopefully I can record a lot in bulk and then let YouTube gradually release them. Um, but if you don't want to wait, if you want them right away, just $5 a month. I don't think that's too, too much. I'm just a poor kid trying to put food on the table. You know, whatever. <laughs> All right, sweet. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you're into Capture the Flag, cybersecurity, computer programming, cool, techno, on the keyboard stuff, please do join our Discord server. Link in the description. Um, it's a cool community of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You can hang out with me and other cool people, and we pretty much just tag team and love each other and do cool things for, like, actual online CTFs. That sounded really weird. Not a euphemism. See you later, guys. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. You're the best.